was on the 5th of March when Mansoor Kirin was found dead. There were questions over his death and Republic has now accessed his post-mortem report that shows there were anti-mortem injuries raising questions if Mansook was assaulted before his death. Remember, the case has been taken over by the NIA and uh, even Maharashtra ATS that was earlier investigating into this case has revealed its findings. But uh, this post-mortem report that is raising a lot of questions or whether Mansook was assaulted before his death. Cutting across to Shavan Sen who's been tracking the story very closely. Shavan, what does the post-mortem report revo uh, re reveal? Well, in fact, this is a detailed post-mortem report that has been accessed by Republic TV. This is a seven-page report of the post-mortem that has been conduct conduct conducted by a, a hospital in, in Thani. Important to point out here is, Suresh, when Mansuk Hiren's body was found, there was a theory that was essentially doing the rounds at that point in time that this is a, a clear-cut case of suicide. That was the narrative that perhaps... Uh, is alleged murderers wanted everyone to believe. But if you simply go by the post-mortem report that has been conducted, in which there is a clear mention of the anti-mortem injuries, which essentially goes on to indicate that he was physically assaulted before his body was thrown into the creek. That's a clear indication from the post-mortem that has been uh, accessed by Republic TV. The reason why we are putting out the post-mortem report right now is primarily because this is a detailed crisp uh, post-mortem report. And on point number 17 of this report, there's a clear indication of the fact that Mansuk Hiren was physically assaulted. This is something that the anti-terrorist squad uh, of Maharashtra was actually looking into, and that is the reason why when they went into the depth of the investigation, that's when they actually found out that Mansuk Hiren, was, this is not a, a case of suicide, as to the contrary to what many would like us to believe, and thereafter, this investigation actually progressed. What we are given to understand is the fact that the, the alleged murder actually took place on the fourth and the intervening night of fourth and fifth. And also, it turns out that Sachin was the API of the, the CIU of Mumbai Crime Branch, perhaps is involved in the alleged murder of Mansur Kiran, if you simply go by the investigation that has been carried out by the anti-terrorist squad. Remember, there have been two arrests that have already been made in this case, one of Constable Vinayak Shinde, and second is Buki and Naresh. Both of them have been connected now to Sachin Vazir, and the documents that have also been accessed by the public TV of the Maharashtra anti-terrorist squad clearly goes on to reflect that the ATS essentially believed that Sachin Bhaji had a very important role to play in the alleged murder of Mansur Kirin. They tried to connect the dots by putting together their investigation in the form of multiple meetings between in accused Vinayak Shinde and Sachin Bhaji on the 2nd of March, that too inside the CIU headquarters. Secondly, they have also been able to put together details of the call data records. In fact, they have been able to go through over mm. 10,000 IP addresses, which only goes on to indicate that Sachin Vazir and his associates were perhaps present at the spot, and that is the reason why an alibi was created by, Mansuk, by Sachin Vazir. Right. Shavan, many thanks for getting us those details.